Welcome to the second tutorial in the Little Man computer series. Now, last time you saw us just make this very, very simple program which just basically allowed us to input a number and then output it into the output window here. So this time we're going to add to this program a little bit and we're going to input a number, but this time we're going to use the command STA, which means to store the number. Now you have to give a variable name to whatever we're going to store. So it's a number, so I'm just going to call it num1, for example. And that will now store this number uh, in a mailbox in memory for us. Now the other thing to remember, that when you store a number, we have to reserve one of these mailboxes for that number, because the little man computer does use the mailboxes for instructions as well as storage so it's really important we reserve a mailbox for the number we're going to store and to do that we simply type in the variable number which is num1 in this case and dat <coughs> which data dat so now if i assemble this into ram let's do that here we go so what we can see now is that zero is the instruction for input 901 store is in mailbox number one which is 304 the code and two is the output which is there 901 three this has been stored for the halt command and four here this is where we should see the number stored when we run the program as you can see here it's reserved mailbox number four for storage so let's run it and see if it works okay it's running now so I could enter a number, hit enter, 5, and as you can see, bingo. It has stored the number 5 in mailbox 4, which is exactly what this instruction here tells it to do. Now, that's all this program does. Again, very straightforward. But if you're struggling with understanding the little man computer, I would suggest you try this code out first, run it, and just double check this works for you, and also to help you understand that the mailboxes are used for instructions and also for storage when we use the STA command. Okay, well, that's it for this one, and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Bye for now.